Hey guys, maybe you're 20 back again, and today we're gonna take a look at Operation Hardcore on the Nintendo Switch. You can see you get an option between one or two players. I'm by myself, so we're gonna go ahead and do one player. You have a couple of different game modes to choose from. You got Adventure, Competition, and Challenges. Challenges is where you can test your skills with uh, quick hit challenge levels. You got Competition, which is uh, no secret exits, no continues, and it's not for the faint of heart. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the Adventure mode. Um, you got easy, normal, hard, and hardcore badass. We're going to go ahead and choose normal. Um, who do we want? We're going to go ahead and choose this guy. So there's four different characters you can choose from. Looks like we have an intro here. Dateline, Earth, 1999. An unprovoked alien invasion is underway. You, a total badass, don't really appreciate it. You won't stand for it. You're downright outraged. <laughs> That's kind of you funny. You pack up some essentials, guns, cigars, whiskey, and head out into the night. Little do you know that tonight you will make history. This is Operation Hardcore. I'm not going to lie. That's a pretty cool intro. <laughs> I really like it. That's awesome. That's awesome. So we're about to make history, according to this guy. And it looks like since there's four different characters to choose from, that maybe um, there's going to be a different opening scene for each one. Maybe each character has its own unique opening scene. Um, so B is your jump, and you can uh, hold B to jump farther, and then you got a double jump. Okay, so that's nice. And then Y is going to be our shoot. So this is like the little intro here, little uh, demo, or uh, you know, teaching you how to play the game. Let's see, what do we got here? Okay, so you can hold the L button to actually stand in one spot and actually choose which way you want to shoot your uh, your weapon. So that's cool. Now you can hold in the R button, I'm assuming, to stay stationary so you can back up uh, and shoot at the same time. And that's exactly what that does. Oh, crap. No way to dodge that. So it looks like... It, it looks like uh, when you kill these guys, they drop... Um, I'm assuming it's health. These uh, red orb looking blocks, I'm assuming it's health. Oh, we gotta, we gotta blast that away. So certain crates have power-ups. Okay, and then we got some shields here. Now to use your shield, you gotta hold in uh, ZRZL. Okay, so that's almost like Smash Brothers, like Super Smash Brothers. Oh, something's up here. Okay, so we got the simple controls down. The controls are really simple, easy to get used to. So, I like it. Really simple, easy to get used to. Act 1, we're in the city. So, so far, I'm really loving this game. If you are a big fan of, like, side-scrolling old-school games uh, where you can have, like, a it's like a run-and-gun type deal, um, then this game is really uh, going to be fun for you. Let's go ahead and try to get through Act 1. Let's see how good we do. All right, so it looks like we can uh, buy certain upgrades. One thing I'm going to get for sure is to increase my rapid-fire. I'm definitely going to get some of that, and then I'm going to get some uh, shield, because there we go. But as you can see, there's a bunch of different upgrades you can get. You can get, like, extra lives, stuff like that. I think rapid fire is the way to go. That's the way my style of play is. Everyone is different. Wow, that's a bit dramatic. Wow. Okay, so we have an alien ship killing everybody. Wow. Okay. All right, I guess we gotta track down this alien. And... I can see this game getting extremely hard. Extremely hard. 
there's still two different modes of, uh, but there's like hard and then there's like, you know, really hard or whatever they're calling it. And it's, uh, I can only imagine what that's like because I only have it on normal and it's still, it's pretty challenging. Wow, that was a lot of health there. We're not doing bad. We're not doing too bad. Oh, crap. We did not time that good at all. You're going down, says the aliens. Okay, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. I'm not a big fan of this laser gun I got. I'm not liking this laser gun. You can hold it in. Okay, and shoot a big laser. I, don't, I still don't like it. I like my pistol better. So we have an alien drone, or ship, or whatever's coming in. I forgot I can hold stationary with the L button. This is going to take some time with this laser. I am not a fan of the laser. Almost just fell off. As you can see, when I shoot, I take like a, like a recoil happens. I, I take like a few steps back. I might be able to get this guy. Oh, we just got we just got killed there. Oh, I got my pistol back. I would much rather have my pistol. It just seems like it shoots better. I don't know. The laser's too I'm not a fan of it. The laser is too uh too slow. Now we got rapid fire. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. You're going down now, buddy. Oh no, I just fell in the stupid hole. Oh, I got the stupid laser again. All right, this is our last life. Got it. Wow. Wow, this is rough. This is rough. So as you can see, this was the first boss, guys. I don't want to make this video too long. Just wanted to show you an inside look at Operation Hardcore coming to the Nintendo Switch this Friday for $12.99. It's a pretty cheap price to pay for a game this cool. I really do enjoy it. Leave a comment below and let me know if this game looks cool and if you're going to plan on getting this for your Nintendo Switch. That's pretty much all for right now, guys, and there will be more to come shortly. Thanks again.